Hello boys, babes, and all of you beans in between. Welcome back. We've been busy. Um, I've been working on some resource gathering, which we're gonna do more of as we go. But I started with some very simple stuff. And so to begin with, we have this. Let's get myself so I can see. This is a lovely shoulder of a bunch of different supplies I'm picking up here. I'm gonna get some more. I wanna get some more wood supplies in particular. But I've decided that for today in particular, I would like to do a couple simple things. First one being, I've been in the nether. I should not have TNT, doo da doo da. All the things go exploding now, all the doo da day. Lots of things go boom, all the things go boom. Lots and lots of TNT, doo da doo da doo. Um, if you haven't noticed, I am not fully netherrited. The only things that are netherrited are my picks, and I want to fix that. So, really fast, we're gonna go boop, get that started because that is going to be super, super useful for us as we go because I want to get some more achievements done. That's the big thing I want to do today because if you stop and look at our achievements list, we haven't even done that, obviously. We have yet to make a lodestone compass. We have yet to do a bunch of traveling in the nether. We have yet to do a whole bunch of weird things like the spawn anchor or shiny things i apparently haven't traded with the big one which i am minorly concerned about but we're doing a whole bunch of different stuff like that and a whole bunch of resource grinding so that we can get better situated so i'm not having to grind so much in between episodes to try and make sure i can build much more faster without much problems we're also going to do this one today because you know i made a new hoe um it's doing great it's helping us get some more dark oak i i'm proud of her she's doing great um but we need this to cook up so that we can make those things happen. However, it takes a hot second to cook. So we're going to let it do its thing. And I'm going to grab them and I'll show you guys how I'm putting it on the stuff. Alrighty. We've got all of our stuff here and ready to go. We just got to grab this stuff. We gotta find... I know I've got gold around here somewhere. I think it's going to be over here in my shiny's chest. Yes, shiny's chest. Wonderful. Let's go over here to my crafting bench. We're gonna press, nope, there it is, press that button. Wonderful, we got four things to do. The sapling grabber, our pants, our hat, and our chest plate that we never wear. So, first things first, that. Look at that, serious dedication achievement. The pants, the helmet, and our chest plate. Look at that, we are looking snazzy. We got our chest plate that we'll probably never wear that which is great we're definitely gonna need to get our axe so we're probably gonna do some more blasting that we're gonna be working on out there but that's not a necessity at this moment let's put the rest of our shinies that we use over here away so i don't lose them and let's make sure we have everything we need i desperately need more rockets so we're gonna go make a quick pit stop by our farm to grab some of the delicious delicious gunpowder that is over there and i am going to go grab some more sugar can our way out but i'll meet you guys over at the village something about this place at night is just satisfying but on a different note we now have some more rockets as we need it is night as we crash land into here we've planted a whole bunch of dark oak saplings for farming as we go let us jump in bed really fast quick plan is we're gonna drop off some stuff we're gonna chop a whole bunch of trees down and we are going where to go where to go where to go to work in here on making this a little bit more traversable because i need an obnoxious amount of things like andesite and granite and diorite for a bunch of the builds i want to do out here because as you can see i've incorporated diorite into some of this but i want to incorporate it into more because it's such a nice tone that can be mixed well with calcite Calcite, on the other hand, is going to be a little harder to find and to mine for, but we are going to work our darnest to get it, so let's take our shulker box right on up to here where I started some storage last time, and we will sort this out so we can grab the logs real fast. That's an easy one. We put the spruce in here. I want to fill this entire chest with spruce blocks, and we put the dark oak in here, which helps. Did I make a spot for terracotta yet? It seems I have not. Alrighty, well if that's the case, let's go ahead and grab all of the terracotta. Doesn't matter the kind right now, we will sort that out later. Stick that all in here, because those are things I love to use for these builds. And then let's grab the dripstone blocks. And we're going to stick those in here. And we can stick... Hmm. 
Well, we can also stick more chests up here real fast. We can do that. And then that. And they'll put the bricks in that one. Which brings us down to a nice good position to start working with the other stuff. So, first things first. We are going to get the inside of that worked out. So, a couple things are going to be needed first for this thing. The first concept I have is that we are going to essentially need an obnoxious amount of stairs. And I'm deba debating between the stone brick stairs and andesite, polished andesite stairs in particular, to go up and down the center part and then setting up some sort of railroad track that goes up and down the sides. We'll do the walls and the roof later to make it look a little nicer and make it look like it belongs with this. We'll pattern it and do something similar to what we did with the villager trading area so that it looks a little bit better. But I want a Minecraft system that goes up and down on both sides of this. The one that will go up and down on this side will go down and to the left of that side. And the one on this side will go down and to the right when I get that area dug. So we're going to start with getting a bunch of stairs. But I got to find some andesite and some stone brick stairs. And I'm going to grab those and I'll show you guys this with a super fast replay. <laughs> genuinely think this is looking a lot better obviously i still gotta do that side but there's no work over there to go currently so i think this works quite well we'll do one that comes up here too on this side just to like make a small storage space up here but we gotta finish this last little bit because i ran out of the rails as i was getting through with this so let me show you how i'm doing this real quick once we get down here we go until it stops being powered which is a fair distance usually. See, it stops there. So we go one, two, three, four, five, six. And then I power that block. No, I don't. I power that. So that block gets power, which powers those because of however redstone works. I don't really know, actually. But then we go all the way down some more. Stops being powered. That looks about right. We break one two we try to place it where we want it to be but that also works apparently and then we keep going until it stops and so i will make a section at the top and the bottom where it stops and i can repower it and transition it so i can stop and get on it and things and the such we're actually going to stop it right here and we'll make it go this direction this needs to be powered obviously so we get that there Put a block there everything is powered let's grab our regular rails we're going to take it and swing it this way and then around so it looks like it has a spot to go place this and then we're going to make a button which helps us fine and dandy because then we can place that button here which powers that and it sends us right on our merry way i didn't bring a minecart with me dang it well, we're going to grab a minecart so we can ride this, and I'll bring y'all back once I get up here. Minecart achieved, minecart achieved, let's go test out the rails. Obviously, like, we're going to redo the sides, we're going to have support systems and beams and knots in the wall and different collections of ores and things, but let's take a ride down. So get in, press the button, which sends us on down. Oh, that is satisfying. This is a lot better than jumping all the way up the stairs. A lot more satisfying than jumping all the way up the stairs. That's cool. Alrighty, and then it swings us here. I need to put a block on the other side of this so it doesn't... I didn't bring a block. It's fine. I left everything behind. It's fine. Okay, set it there. Get in. Press the button. Let's go back up. Nice. Nice and smooth. The only thing I have to do is that corner up there where we get the black flash from being in the wall. But it didn't cause any suffocation damage, so I think... That is A-OK, -okay, and we should be good to go with that portion. Yep, the wall. I'll take the corner out, smooth it out, make a nice little smoother spot. But 
this worked perfectly. Exactly how I need it. It'll definitely be great when I can put chests up here. And if I make it like an automated system, I could technically have it go up and into my sorting system if I really wanted to and have it empty itself for me. But we will see how that goes. That's a lot more redstone than I kind of want to do yet, but that'd be super fun and super interactive for making the area more functional. So next couple of things we need to get done. We need more logs. I just don't want to have to farm logs later. I think I'm going to try and get about a double chest of the dark oak and a double chest of spruce and then maybe like half a chest of birch oak and half a chest of acacia and jungle which I now have access to all of. So we're going to do a whole bunch of that. You'll probably see bits and pieces of me doing that. And then we're going to get a little bit more netherrack, which means not netherrack, netherite, a whole bunch more explosions. And then a couple small farms are going to get done. So I think we're going to end up making a small automated bamboo farm, maybe four or five pieces of bamboo in it, just because bamboo grows and produces super stinking fast when it's in the right setting which right now it's not the right setting it needs sunlight but we'll make a super cute small one in there that we can work with in addition to a small sugarcane farm that's automated because i don't need a ton it's just me and then we will also start working on getting a furnace right in here and our sorting system this still needs to be finished but i keep looking at it and i'm not liking the way it quite turned out so i'm probably gonna come in and redo the textures at the bottom just so it has a better gradient going up but we'll get onto that in just a minute so I'm going to get to working on getting those resources so we can do a whole lot more building next time. Let's get that started. Would you like to join me for this lovely expedition? Or are you just going to leave it to me? Whee! Okay, so logistically, specifically logistically, this would entirely be enough logs. I think it's a good start. Definitely a good start. Obviously, I'm going to end up needing more terracotta and bricks and specifically more of this stuff for a later project. But I think we're doing pretty well. I mean, we um we definitely leafed it to me and I got all this work done. So we have all sorts of stuff. I'm cleaning up. These are empty. I'll end up using them for something or other. We have our shinies and a whole bunch of other knickknacks and patty wax. So that's a good start here. A couple more things need to be done, though. So I'm going to get those done. Shand! I need more sand. Everyone needs more sand. Oh, yes, sand. Now achieved the T in of the T. Whoop. You know, everyone needs some more explosions. Where do you get some more explosions? Hmm. This is a problem. Hmm. Yes. Tanta. Gotta have. Oh, no, give it back. Gotta have the Tananta. The Tiamantia. The Kabooms. Oh, yes. Three, two, now we watch. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. He's mad at me. No, not again, not again. I don't want this. I don't want to die to zombified piglins again. This happened way too often. This, this, this happens every time. I don't want to talk to you about this we are not friends go away i just want to explode things thank you thank you hmm yes kaboom kaboom yes oh more kaboom Give me more kaboom. I want more kaboom. You can have that. Boom. Yes. Boom. Wonderful booms. <gasps> Precious. Mm-hmm. Goods. Oh, goods. Goods. Yes. Wonderful. Un. Do. Un do. We got six already. This is going great. Anything? Just a single. Eh, it's fine. I'll take a single. I just want to get an even eight so we can do my shovel and my axe next. 
Let's see what this is so we can get out of the creepy crawly nether after we throw things at a piglin. Anything? Oh, nope, no, 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 no. Wonderful. Let's grab a little bit more gold. And let's go find a piglin. This is not how I wanted to find you. This is not how I wanted to find you. This is not how I wanted to find you. Please take the gold. It worked. We're not gonna die. Ooh, shiny. Um, yes. Give me the rest of this, and then I shall... Boop. Perfect. Ooh, we missed another debris. Let's get that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So many oohs. So many oohs and ahs. Okay, let's grab the things. Let's grab the things. Let's grab a thing. Yes. Perfection. <gasps> More than one. We found several extra while we were in here, so we have 15 now. I am one short of four. Oh, that hurts, but it's fine. We have plenty. This is more than I thought I'd find anyway. Perfect. Let's get out of here. Goodies. Check. We will smelt that later. That's not a huge deal. But now that we're back here, I want to go ahead and lay out a couple things. Specifically, do I have any scaffolding? Um, do I have any string? No? Oh, crud. We'll just, we'll just... It's fine. I didn't need that there. Real quick though, we're gonna lay out, we're gonna see a couple farms. I'm not gonna get them done today, but if we are going to put farms in, I'm gonna put them up here and we'll make little pathways that you can climb up on and walk around. I am gonna come back and make this much more cave-like and curve the walls in here, but since I am gonna put farms in here, I wanna put something. Let's grab that torch right in here so i think like right here we'd end up putting the sugarcane farm because it is a simple easy modular thing that i can hide pretty easily in the wall so like here would be sugarcane and i think if we're gonna do that we're gonna go over here for a small bamboo farm i would probably stick it over here and do it a couple blocks in and a couple blocks high so that it has plenty of space to grow. And we're gonna modulate it simil similar to the way that I know how to design the sugarcane farm thanks to Tango Tech's design from, shoot, season seven? Season seven. And we're gonna try and duplicate it to be a bamboo farm. I'm not entirely confident how it's gonna work, but we're gonna try our best and see what happens of it because it works pretty well. So like we'll do sugarcane up there, bamboo there, and they'll probably put some sort of kelp farm in there, but it's going to take up a lot more space. And due to the fact that I'm not entirely confident how big that is, or how big the space in there is, we're going to have to play with it. Because having a nice small kelp farm would be super, super useful for having a furnace array in here. And if I'm going to put a furnace array in here, it's going to go inside of this massive thing once I get it worked out. So, that's all that stuff we're going to do. And when we finally get around to eventually putting in a storage system, it's going to be in a room below here. So, like, we're going to have a loose storage system up there for the time being. But I think what we're going to end up doing is I'm going to do something along the lines of just a staircase that goes down here and puts us down in another space where I have entirely made the room for storage. So there will be approximately, gosh, how big is this room? Um, I'm going to say that's about 25 across and that's about 20. Probably 15, actually. So we're going to do like 25 on that side, 15 on that side, 25 on that side. And so we'll have that much space for a whole, bu whole bunch of different things. We'll be using the traditional f sorting system that Impulse made several updates ago. Love his design. I stand by it. Use it all the time. It's the easiest one to use, in my opinion. So we'll make that. And once we do that, that'll be super, super great. And I think I will actually make an unloading system that comes through our gorgeous little thing over here because if I were to be sending items up and down for mining I'd be doing it down at this level where this is so we'll end up taking and probably making a room just over here that takes and sorts out all my stone types and then sends them up there or it automatically takes it into a system that takes it up there and empties it for me so we're gonna probably do that. I might end up actually doing a shulker loader or something. I've never made one of those, but I think it'd be a fun challenge to try and do and take some time to just learn how to do more redstone while we're at it. But unfortunately we are running out of time. It has been an absolute blast doing the grinding, getting all of like the logs we need because that should honestly last me a fair while with the rest of those 
then again, I use a lot of logs. We're gonna have to like experiment with not just log based roofs. Maybe we'll find some like copper roofs we can put in. But I think that works out pretty well. We got a, where's my leaves? We got a fair number of leaves for some extra decor and maybe some customized trees because I will be taking down the dark oak that's just out there. But I do believe that this is a great start and this is also a great start. I might start looking into also making a moss generator just so that we can make these like bamboo farms a little faster so it's not actually like constantly growing but something I turn on and um, bone meal to the point of I get it where I need it to be. But on that note, thank you so much for coming. I'm so glad you guys have been here. We are going to have to treat all of these poor tools to a nice spa day at my villager farm so that we can get all the XP for them. But I will see you lovely folks next time. We'll be doing some more building, designing, and we'll also be working on the camp some more. I really want to start looking at making banners for all of the camp cabins. So like we need a Mothman banner, we need a Jersey Devil banner, we need all of the banners. I want to see a Loch Ness Monster banner. So if you know any great ones or great designs, let me know where to find them or show them to me. If you're not in my Discord, go check it out. It's over on my Twitch. Super easy way to show me things and share things with me. So I will catch you guys later. Drink some water. And if you haven't already, press that subscribe button. I'll catch you guys next time. Bye now.